Hey, have you ever watched those films where the lighting just makes everything pop? You know that magical glow around the actors that make you wish your footage looked just as stunning? Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day because I'm about to spill the beans on how to nail that cinematic look in your own videos. So forget about the quality of your footage for a sec. Whether it's top notch or a bit on the rough side, it doesn't matter. What does matter is your footage has some light sources to work with and preferably a natural glow we can enhance. Here's a trick to add some serious glow or halation to your videos. And I'm starting off with DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're not rocking Resolve, no sweat, I'll cover how to do it in Premiere Pro later on. So stick around. Alrighty, let's dive into adding that lovely halation effect using DaVinci Resolve, folks. I'm rocking DaVinci Resolve for the full shebang, but don't sweat it. If you're on the free version, I'll walk you through a version of that too. Now here's the deal. Halation is a perk of the paid version of DaVinci, but fear not my friends, I'll show you later on how to get a similar effect using the free version. I've got some clips here already jazzed up with some color grading, just to make this tutorial smooth sailing. We'll hop over to the color tab. Yep, that's where the magic happens. Now, full disclosure, I'm no pro, so if you spot any blunders, hit me up in the comments. Feedback is always welcome in my book. First things first, let's add a node. Right click, hit add node, head over to the effects library, find halation, and simply drag it onto the untouched node. Easy peasy, right? Now, this is where your inner artist shines. Play around with the settings to your heart's content. Toggle the strength, even add a secondary glow for that extra oomph. I'm all about that glow up. You can tweak brightness, spread, you name it. It's your canvas, so paint it the way you like. Personally, I like to tinker around until it feels just right. Once you've nailed that look, step back and admire your handiwork. Now rinse and repeat for the rest of your clips. Same steps, same stunning results. All right, for those of you who don't have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, I've got you covered on how to add that cool glow effect using the free version. I've been using DaVinci Resolve free for quite some time, and I've got to say it's a real gem for me. So let's dive in. Just like before, we've got our clip ready and color graded. If you haven't done that yet, make sure you do. Now, to add that glow, add a node, head over to effects, open up your library and type in glow. Drag that glow effect onto the node we just added. And bam, you'll notice that it's already given your clip a bit of that glowy magic. Now here's where the fun begins. Play around with the settings until you achieve that perfect glow. You all have control over parameters like intensity, threshold and size. So tweak them to your heart's content until you're happy with the result. Now for our next clip. We've got some lights, perfect for showcasing that glow. Repeat the process, add a node, slap on the glow effect, and there you have it. That light is shining like a star. Just a word of advice, don't go too overboard with the adjustments. You don't want to wash out your clip. And there you go, DaVinci Resolve makes it easy to add that professional touch to your video. And trust me, a little glow can go a long way in making your footage pop. And finally, if you're itching to try this out in Premiere Pro, don't worry, I've got you covered too. Now, your timeline might not look the same as mine, but don't sweat it, just import your clips as usual. Now, let's pick the segment of the footage you want to work with. Set your in and out points and drag the clip into your timeline. Quick and dirty works for now. We're not aiming for perfection here. Duplicate the clip, hold down Alt or Option, click and drag. Easy peasy. Now with the top clip selected, let's get into the fun stuff. Head over to Effects, type in Luma Key, and slap that onto your top clip. Next, add a Gaussian Blur effect. Now, here's where the magic happens. Tweak the settings a little bit. Crank up the Luma Key threshold to around 88, and the cutoff to around 84. Play around with the blur value until you get that dreamy glow. I usually start at around 50 and work my way up from there. Once you're satisfied with the look, adjust the opacity if needed. Don't forget it's the top layer we're playing with here. And hey, if you want to dial back the effect a bit, just lower the opacity. Now sit back and admire your handiwork. This might take a little bit to render, especially if your computer's feeling a little bit sluggish, but trust me, it's worth it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy shooting.